Hello, my name is John Newstead. I'm a soil scientist here at Delta T Devices. This video is a short presentation on our Profile Probe Extraction Kit. So you've finished doing your experiments with your Delta T Devices PR2 Profile Probe, and for whatever reason, maybe it's the end of the project, maybe you want to move to a new location, but for whatever reason, you want to move your access tubes. Now access tubes, once they're in the ground, are quite hard to get out. You can dig them out, but especially in a heavy clay, that is very difficult to do. It can be very hard work indeed. So Delta T Devices has got an extraction kit especially for that purpose. So what's in the extraction kit? The extraction kit is based on this little clamp, which goes on the top of your access tubes. Together with the extraction kit, you need a farm jack or high lift jack, it's a ratchet jack. You need a base plate so that the jack doesn't get forced into the ground. If your access tubes are in a clay, it requires a lot of force to get them up and out of the ground. Um, a ratchet jack like this can lift two and a half tonnes, so you just need to spread some of the weight. This little rod that comes with it is just to do up the clamp when you've got it on your access tube. And this chain, we supply a chain. You could use um, a carabiner if that's what you've got, if you've got a steel carabiner, but we supply a chain. This connects to the clamp and you just put it over the foot on the ratchet jack. So I think we should demonstrate how that uh, uh, fits together. We're currently in um, an old apple orchard. The experiments have finished, so I need to remove the access tubes. So this is the clamp that connects around an access tube. So the access tube actually fits in there. You push this in, then you tighten it up, and it clamps onto your access tube. A very important part of uh, withdrawing your access tubes so that you can reuse them. So here's the access tube we want to remove. Let's keep everything neat and tidy. So we put our base plate over the top of it. We'll be using our high lift jack in just a moment, our ratchet jack. I want to open this clamp up. We insert it on, do it up. It's quite important to make sure this is done up tightly. It's been raining here in the UK, so it's all a little bit greasy and wet, but we'll try and make it as tight as possible. There we go. If when you're jacking this up, this clamp pulls off, it's not a big deal. Just undo it, loosen it up, and put it back on the access tube. Remember, this is all about withdrawing access tubes, not leaving them in the soil, polluting the soil, okay? If they're not needed, really, we should be removing them, either digging them up or using this type of kit, okay? So let's connect the chain. And then so we'll just realign it slightly. It's a little bit fiddly, but it gives you an access tube to reuse somewhere else. Right now, gently. An important health and safety uh, comment at this point: this jack is capable of lifting two and a half tons. Sometimes. Access tubes get, especially in a heavy clay soil, they are sucked in. It requires a lot of force to get them out. And while this jack can generate that, you want to keep your head and your arms away from this arc of movement here, okay? Whenever you buy a, um, a ratchet jack, they're all full of warnings, and for good reason. If this snaps back, it will hit you, okay? So be careful. And you can see Hopefully you can see that access tube nice and gently pulling out of the ground.
We might even be able to pull that now. Oh, just, let's just... Uh... There we go. So we'll just get that off. I'll just lift the jack to one side for a moment. Nicely done. There we go. So now we'll just take the, the jack and the clamp off and you've got a perfectly good access tube to reuse.